Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to talk about the recording toolbar and we're going to talk about the help menu. Now what you're going to notice is that you can get specific help for the Camtasia recorder or the recording toolbar, which you're looking at here. You can access tutorials, technical support, or you can send feedback to TechSmith. Now one thing that you'll want to note about Camtasia whether you are looking at the recording toolbar or you're looking at the editing screen is that you can get specific help for everything that you have purchased from Camtasia Studio or from TechSmith. And you'll notice that when you come to the editing screen, you'll see that you can actually sign into the software where you have Camtasia Studio. So what you'll want to do here is you're going to want to connect to the TechSmith server. Once you enter the email address that you have associated with your software, you're going to want to put in the password that you created. Once you've done that, then you'll notice that your email address will be at the top. Your TechSmith account will be listed as part of your Camtasia software. Now this will mean that when you access technical support, you will actually be able to get specialized help. So we're going to go ahead and click technical support right here. Now most cases you should already be signed into the TechSmith website. If you're not, you want to go ahead and sign in at the top right here. And if you have any problem whatsoever, you can submit a ticket to TechSmith to help you to sort out your account. Now what's important about accessing your TechSmith account, and let's go ahead and enter our personal account. You'll notice here that anything that you've ever purchased from TechSmith is actually listed along with the software key. In particular, you'll notice that here is our Camtasia 9 license that we can see right here if we ever need the key for any reason. And this is important in case we have to move the software to a new PC or if we have to use it someplace where our personal PC is not available. Now, if you have a maintenance agreement, it will be present inside of your account online and then your account will have all of your pertinent contact information. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.